Let's do it. Okay, so where, where I started with the Dragon Roars, I actually made the Dragon Roars um, when I was in Canada in a car. And I started off with Silent. Let me find that thing. Um, I think this is the one. Yes. Yeah, that's the. This is the the, the first thing I made um, in silent. Uh, I I went through a few steps. Uh, the first step was to create a. Um, oh, worse, worse. Wait, not clear. There's some comments about the sound. No, but okay. I'm gonna put it back to the to the other one. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm reading everything, so. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, hello, can you hear me? I changed, I changed the, the microphone back to the, to the other one. <clears throat> so, just let me know when you when you can hear me. Uh, you can hear me right. Let me know if you hear this sound clearly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now it's okay. Good. <clears throat> okay. I started off with silent. It's a few steps that I took the sound uh, through. Um, first, I had to make some kind of detuned de uh, synth sound, and but just only with a synth, it's very mm, difficult to get a very uh, different, natural, uh, distinctive sounding thing. You know, it's it's gonna sound very synthy and digital <coughs> when you when you do that. So. You, uh, what I did is I made a sound and, uh, like here, put uh, some pitch shifters and, and a chorus on it to detune it a lot. And after that, I uh, I, I exported that sound and um, I loaded that into some other plugins, which I'm gonna come to. Um, but first, this is the original uh, synth sound I did. It's it's just normally it sounds like this. It's 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 really strange and ugly and <laughs> and I'm I'm actually uh, after this I'm gonna I'm gonna upload all the the presets for you guys so you can you can check it out and uh, and try some um, some edits for yourself or whatever you know but I, I'm happy to share this with you guys and. Uh, maybe it gives you some insight and, and, and some inspiration, you know? So I, I actually, I don't even remember how I started off with this sound, but I just wanted something really detuned and, uh, yeah, so it, it sounds like this and it's, uh, let me see, it's two oscillators, um, wait, yeah. Um, it's oscillators with, with, with some noise, very detuned, and then I have a filter automation. I don't remember if it was this one or that one. Yeah, that's that's with a lot of resonance. If I if I close that. So I, I will. It's it's very hard to explain how I how I built this sound. This is very uh, just trial and error, you know. Just try it out and look how it sounds. So I, I will give you this this preset. I will put it on my Facebook, and uh, and then you can uh, just use that for yourself. But uh, the next thing I I did was give some automation. Zoom in there a little bit. 
automation on the filter that's right here. I just play with it, made some curves, and, and, it, and it would sound like this. You know? Um, but it was, it, it was too, uh, the sound, it was too uh, not detuned enough. It was, you hear, clearly hear the tone. And when a dragon roars, you, <laughs> you don't want to hear any musical note, you know? So that was, I, I was trying to camouflage that and with a bit crusher, just a little, oh, a lot. <laughs> and it, wait, it gets you something like this. It's not a very big difference though. Then pitch shifters. Uh, what I did is I put the mix. I, I mixed that original sound with a, uh, a semitone detuned sound, you know? Uh, so it starts to lose the musical note because you're detuning it so much. Um, and um, I did that two times. Here's another one. It goes up two semitones and a chorus, which detunes the whole thing even more. And then it will start uh, to sound like this. Wait. It's, it's really it's a stupid, uh, you know, sound. So. But anyway, I, I heard something in it, you know, it, it gave me some um, idea uh, that it was going to be good if I uh, used a, another plugin on it. Uh, actually, I, I did um, um, granular synthesis, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. I used Alchemy for that. And Alchemy is a synthesizer which I initially thought is very, very uh, boring. Uh, but it's actually very nice and cool and uh, you can do a lot of crazy stuff with this it because you can import samples to it let me check let me show you that <coughs> look I, I I exported the whole thing and I, um, I I here you go here and you can import a audio file and um, then you can start to manipulate that audio file. You can stretch it. And the, 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 the key to this is I put the stretch on zero. I, it stops the sound. And with automation, or actually with the, the envelopes, you can um, uh, uh, just you know, automate the, uh, the start position. And you can make it really long or short. And you can travel through the sound. Um, let me try that. Yeah, so uh, oh, this is the position, sorry. So that's th that really gives you uh, a nice thing, you know, and um, uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, take this and you, uh, with this, you set uh, the, the grains and, 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 and actually you can tune it into key with, with your song. So uh, that's just a matter of tweaking. I will also upload this. You can check this out for yourself. So, uh, okay, there we go. Um, I assigned the position to a envelope and that is right here right here what you see here is uh, the, the thing that uh, it controls Let me know if you can hear everything clear. You know, I'm 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 just trying to uh, to make the best of it with with the mic of the of the screen. Um, but uh, okay, 
the thing about this is that it still it, it misses some um, I wanted it to, to, to speak a little bit more I wanted it to talk you know so what I did is I took a the, the what's it called the wow the sugar bites wow it's a vowel filter you can you can make talking bass lines you can you know um, make all kinds of uh, crazy wow 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 stuff and wobbles and if you make dubstep it's a very cool plugin to use and um, you can make the whole yeah you see it moving you know and and when I when I tweak that a little bit it's already <laughs> starts to talk it, it, it does wah instead of whoa so so that's uh, that's another step it's a very cool plugin you should definitely check that out I added another chorus right here very detuned you know it takes all the tone out and, uh, and finally what I did is add an EQ very <laughs> extreme EQing uh, because there's no high frequencies and everything is blurry and uh, so that's when I came to this I hope you I really hope you can hear this stuff you know I, I I'm reading your comments and um, I'm trying to get it better and better. I will do this more in, in the future as well and uh, try to make it a little bit more professional, you know. Maybe I should uh, buy another mic or whatever. I will, I will try. So that's the Dragon Roar. And then the last step, I hope you guys are follow me, following me a little bit. <laughs> Probably a lot of you are not even uh, producers. Um, after this, I will switch back to uh, to the webcam. But first, um, let me check this. Out. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear this. So this, the last step is very simple. It's very basic. The last step is contact. Um, what I did was uh, load the sample into contact very nice sampler you can uh, use it very well for uh, for structuring and stuff oh fuck I hope logic is not okay you can use it for stretching samples and okay I'm having a little fight with uh, uh, come on looks like it's crashing hope not oh fuck okay so logic's crashing on me I get I think again that's what I was talking about I'm gonna restart logic again okay there we go don't laugh <laughs> there we go yeah okay very funny also happens to me. <coughs> okay. Mm. Just a sec. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, I told you. <laughs> it also happens to me. And more than I want to, it, it's crazy. I have so many trouble with my sound card, my virus, everything. I Sometimes I get so frustrated. It's crazy. Uh, you see it? It's called Fus Roda. And I didn't know there was an H at the end back then. <laughs> mm. 
I'm gonna just finish explaining the whole uh, the whole thing I did and. Then I will uh, let you hear the process once more. I hope some of you guys recorded this. You can put it on YouTube, whatever you want. And then afterwards, I will actually I will compile a zip file with all the presets and everything, and I'll put it online. So don't worry if you missed anything. It's gonna be okay. Uh, let me check. Right here. <clears throat> okay, I think we're back on track. Uh, the dragon. Yeah, okay, so we're at contact. I loaded the roar into contact. And I stretched it. Uh, the stretching, every it, it gives you, it, it makes, it gives you a lot of grain in the sound. It makes it, you know, uh, what I also do with a lot of screeches and stuff, uh, before I continue, I take, I make a screech in, for example, the virus, and I put my project on double speed I export the sound, I load it into contact, and I stretch it 50%. And then you get the same screech, but it actually it sounds grittier and it's, it's very nice. Mm. Oh, please. Come on. Don't give me a crash again. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm gonna switch to, uh, um, wait, this is very funny, wait, let me switch to, wow. there we go, okay, I'll be back in a sec with the logic, <laughs> it's crashing on me, yeah, 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 I know, I, I, I'm working, I'm in my home studio and I'm working on, on a laptop here, so, uh, it's actually uh, the the whole project when it's complete. It's taking so much CPU and and um, and memory that it crashes a lot of times. Mm. So that's what's happening. Um, it's funny because uh, Boss uh, of Noise Controllers he'll be here in half an hour and maybe he'll join us a little bit in the, on the stream and talk to you guys a little bit if you like that. You guys would like to talk to uh, Noise Control the Boss a little bit afterwards? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a Mac Pro in my uh, in my real studio, but this is I'm working on my laptop here, so uh, it gives me some uh, some problems sometimes. Yeah, fail, epic fail. <laughs> if anybody knows how to fix all my crashing problems and everything, just contact me. I would love that. I'm gonna give it another try. I'm actually gonna take some stuff out now because it's taking too much CPU and uh, let me see anything I can get the hell out of here a lot of Nexus I use a lot of Nexus uh, for just very stuff you know uh, atmospheric uh, things okay this one can go and you can go as well okay let me give it another try. I'm going to first try it out and see if it opens up in the first place. Mm. I have one more thing that could probably work out if I... <laughs> Windows 95, yeah. It's too epic to load. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. I, w I, I expected this, you know. I expected this to happen. It's, uh, it's always... when I, It's funny. When I, uh, 
when I ever, whenever I do a collab or something, like when uh, when Zatox came to Holland to uh, do a collab with me, I uh, the first thing that happened was like my whole studio sound was not working, and it took me like half a day to fix everything. It's uh, it's really shitty, but it's 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 the way. Yeah, it's the way it goes. It's the Murphy's law. Murphy's law. When is the album coming? The album is coming uh, very soon. Um, I think it's uh, I, everything's delayed so much because uh, <coughs> yeah, a lot of things are. I, I don't know. You have to do th stuff with so many people, and I am a little bit. Now I'm not lazy, but I'm concentrating on making music, and then I have to do all these kinds of side things and. No. Sorry for the delay, but it's coming really soon. <clears throat> so people who uh, have the illusion that Mac works better than PC, no way. <laughs> I don't know how it is on PC, but I have crashes all the time. It's loading again. While I'm talking, it crashed again. So I, I, I I'm loading uh, Logic in 32-bit now. See if it works out. I was running on 64-bit uh, before. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will teach you guys some tricks. No worries. No worries. This is the other one. Yeah. Please, please, do it. Okay, there we are. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to uh, the other cam and let you guys see what's actually happening. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we're back, back on track. Okay, I loaded uh, the sample into contact <coughs> and I stretched it. It's very easy. You know, you just load in the sample. Uh, I, I assume you guys know a little bit what, how to how to do that. You know, I mean, if not, you should look up some uh, some tutorials about that because uh, yeah, I'm not gonna explain that right now. But uh, uh, the original sample, the latest one, I, I let you hear before the crash. I loaded it into Contact. Let me see. It's right here. This is the Dragon Roar, unstretched, and I put this thing here on the time machine. I normally it would sound like this and then I put the speed down and there we are a dragon roar as far as I could get it with the dragon roar so <clears throat> and whatever you, you know contact you can do all kinds of nice stuff with it uh, you can make some more pitch uh, envelopes or LFOs or, or whatever you know um, but that's 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 the final thing I did to make the uh, dragon roar I hope that's clear for you guys to hear that uh, I made some I made a little bit shorter ones longer ones So that's what's up. Okay, so one more time. The thing I did was take silent, make a sound. I will upload the preset for you. A lot of detuning, pitch shifting, chorus, bounce it, load it into the mighty alchemy uh, with the granular synthesis on, put a vowel filter, uh, sugar bites wow. Um, give it the step sequencer uh, to make the envelope in the sound. Uh, the sound is triggered uh, by audio or however you want it, you know. Um, some EQing and then load it into contact, stretch the whole thing, and that's a dragon roar. <laughs> so I'll give you one more view over the project. This is the Skyrim part. The the guy, the, my voiceover guy, I have this, it's the same guy that does the hardwood style vocals. And um, yeah, he's, he's very, he's very good. Um, 
There he is. My voiceover guy. They are already here. The Elder Scrolls told of their return. Until the time after oblivion opened. When the sons of Skyrim would spill their own blood. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, some other stuff. Um, let me see. The uh, pulse thingy. It's uh, ES2. Logic ES2. Uh, I use it a lot. It's very nice. You can create awesome sounds. With it, with a lot of distortion stuff on it, you know, uh, some yeah, nexus for the chords, the virus for the lead, um, <clears throat> yeah, and that's about it. I, the kick is the the thing I spent the most time on. I think I spent a few days on it or whatever. Yeah, just, I, I hope it's clear for you guys. <clears throat> um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, make a nice preset for you guys. Because that's, uh, uh, yeah, I hope that's gonna work out for you guys. <laughs> 